Hello everyone. Today I will teach you how to load a player into GoodBlocks Studio. First open GoodBlocks Studio. Loading into GoodBlocks Studio can be buggy sometimes so keep that in mind. Next you need to load a game that you have or make a new one if you want. Now go into the description and copy the first script. This will let you load yourself into the game. Now go into a folder and create a new text document. Name this whatever you want. Now open the document and paste the script and then save. Then replace the txt with lua. Now click on tools and hit execute script. Then double click the lua file. And you have now loaded yourself into studio. But now I will teach you how to customize your character. First go into the description and download the second script just like the first one. This script will remove the good blocks logo on your body. And now let's get into clothing, hats, faces, and skin tone. For this you will need to download the Chrome extension Better Roblox. But something I should tell you is that the morphs can be buggy sometimes. So now go to the library tab and search clothing morph. You need to use older morphs. This will not work with new ones. So use ones from 2009 to 2012. So now you will need to download the morph. Click on the download button at the top. Now click on the file and remove the X from the end of it. Now at the top click on insert then click on model. Do not execute script. Now double click the model. Now I will teach you how to put different clothing on the morph. First select the morph and click on the pluses right next to it until you find shirts and pants. This will be using the shirts or pants texture ID, not the actual shirts or pants. So find the shirt or pants you want to put on the morph and click on the ID. Click on the last number and go one number behind it. You can also use a discord clothing stealer for this too. Now replace the ID of the clothing morph with the new ID. And this will also work with the pants. So now getting hats is much easier, you only need to download them from the library. Just like how you downloaded the clothing morph.
Now remove the X from the end. And getting faces and skin tones is just the same as this. Just download skin tone changers or face changers. But now you know how to change your avatar and studio. If you have any questions just ask in the comments. But thank you for watching.